India's nuclear submarine program has seen a minor delay, with the fourth SSBN S4 Star now expected to enter service by late 2027 or early 2028. The 7,000 ton Arahunt class boat features higher indigenous content, improved stealth, and K 4 missile capability. The slippage is linked to extended validation of advanced reactor and combat systems. Despite this, the program continues to steadily strengthen India's sea based nuclear deterrence. The Indian Air Force has quietly shelved plans to acquire six additional C 130J Super Hercules aircraft, redirecting focus toward the upcoming medium transport aircraft program. The move reflects a strategic shift toward fleet rationalization and indigenous manufacturing under Atmanirbhar Bharat. With the MTA tender expected in 2026 for up to 80 aircraft, the IAF aims to replace aging transports, streamline logistics, and field a versatile, high payload platform to meet future operational and special forces requirements. India has taken a major step toward clean aviation as Time Technoplast successfully completed flight trials of an indigenous hydrogen-powered UAV. The fuel cell-driven drone, equipped with a locally developed composite hydrogen cylinder, demonstrated safe hydrogen storage and extended endurance capabilities. Aligned with the National Green Hydrogen Mission, the breakthrough highlights hydrogen's potential beyond batteries. With applications ranging from surveillance to disaster response, the project positions India as an emerging player in next-generation green unmanned aviation technologies. The Indian Army has reached a major self-reliance milestone by indigenizing nearly 91% of its ammunition inventory. With 159 out of 175 variants now domestically produced, dependence on foreign supplies has sharply reduced. Backed by defense PS use and private industry, the move ensures sustained firepower during prolonged conflicts. As global supply chains remain uncertain, this shift strengthens India's combat readiness and secures long-term operational resilience. India has approved the 260-megawatt Dalhasti Stage 2 hydropower project on the Chinab River in Jammu and Kashmir. Cleared by the Environment Ministry panel, the move follows the suspension of the Indus Waters Treaty with Pakistan. Costing over rupees 3,200 crore, the project extends the existing Dalhasti plant and includes an underground powerhouse with two 130 megawatt units. The decision signals India's accelerated push to harness hydropower in the Indus Basin. DRDO has invited Indian industry to take full transfer of technology of Abhyas, its indigenous high-speed expendable aerial target. Developed by ADE, Abhyas simulates advanced aircraft and missile threats at Mach 0.9 plus and 15 km altitudes. Costing far less than imported systems, it supports tri-services training and future offensive adaptations. The move strengthens Make in India, opens export avenues, and positions private firms in advanced unmanned aerial manufacturing. India's Defense Acquisition Council is set to consider leasing two MQ-9BC Guardian drones for around two years to sustain long-range maritime surveillance. The proposal aims to bridge an ISR gap until India's own MQ-9B fleet begins induction from 2028. With proven Navy experience since 2020, the Sea Guardian's endurance and sensor reach are seen as vital for uninterrupted monitoring across the Indo-Pacific during heightened maritime activity. The Indian Army has issued an RFI for a modern avalanche rescue system to enhance troop safety in high-altitude regions. The modular system will use radar and reflectors to detect buried soldiers in real time, even in extreme cold. Designed for rapid response, multi-victim detection and precise localization, it aims to cut non-combat casualties from avalanches, reinforcing the Army's push for technology-driven force protection in harsh mountain environments. India is advancing its strategic deterrence with the K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile, 
a powerful second strike weapon designed for assured retaliation. With a range beyond 5,000 kilometers and MIRV capability, the K-5 can deliver multiple nuclear warheads in a single launch. Deployed from stealthy S-5-class SSBNs, it guarantees survivability, even after a first strike. By reserving such SLBMs as a secondary offensive layer, India strengthens its nuclear triad, while reinforcing its no-first-use doctrine and long-term strategic stability. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is set to receive its 6GF404 engine by mid-January, with a seventh likely to follow soon after, offering a modest boost to the Tejas MK1A program. Engine shortages have slowed assembly and flight activity, with only five units delivered so far. While the new arrivals will not clear the backlog, they will improve production flexibility. Sustained engine deliveries remain vital for meeting Indian Air Force induction timelines. The Indian Air Force has crossed a decisive threshold on the Tejas Mk-2, firming up a long-term requirement of over 220 fighters to bridge the gap until AMCA matures. With house stretched thin, current production rates risk delaying induction beyond acceptable timelines. The IAF now sees private sector manufacturing as the winning formula. Leveraging commonality with AMCA and proven cost efficiencies, a private production line could deliver up to 30 jets annually from the early 2030s. The message is clear, Tejas MK2 is mission critical, and breaking production bottlenecks is no longer optional. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a detailed statement of work for designing the front fuselage of India's advanced medium combat aircraft. Covering cockpit integration, structural analysis, and stealth-compatible shaping, the move signals a shift into high-fidelity engineering. Indian industry partners will execute model-based design under ADA control, with all intellectual property retained by the government. The milestone-driven effort marks steady progress toward AMCA prototypes and strengthens India's fifth-generation fighter ecosystem. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.